Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Chrysalis Part 1 walkthrough series. Today, we are going to see if we can try to finish up Moon Cliffs. It depends on how much we get done in there. And when we get to the last word, we're going to do some of it too. Not a lot, just some of it. So, let's begin. Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's group. My dialogue phone just sick. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Wait, what was I gonna do? Oh! Yeah, my dialogue phone's up. Okay. Now let's do it. That was well done. Thank you. When we break into the detention block, use the summoning room to stun the guards with a smoke elemental. Then free the sugar gliders. Ooh. What the? Who are you? What's your operating number? Boring conversation anyway. Spellbinder, use the summoning rune. You quickly throw down the summoning stone like Jalen taught you. It flares brightly and smoke billows from it. Cinderette smoke! <laughs> quickly, free the prisoners! Time to free some prisoners! Escape! Thank you for freeing us. Jalen sent you? We will glide over the moon cliffs to Lastwood and rejoin him in Queen Myrtle Town. You'll need a comb key to get through the honeycomb gate. I saw one in the Tamarind Tower, but it is heavily guarded. Heavily guarded. Everything is heavily guarded. That we can deal with. Because we're wizards, we can do anything. We are unstoppable. Do you hear me? Unstoppable. Hey look, the chrysanthemum! We do realize we have that quest. I'm gonna count to ten. Oh. If I was wrong. If these things do really come quick. What do we do now? Sugar gliders. Always flighty. But her advice seems sound. Let's take on this tamarind tower and get the comb key. Watch out for the warrior brood. Warrior brood? Who's the warrior brood? What the? Okay, that was weird. Too weird, but... Oh well. Hmm. I see the comb key way up there. Ah, the warrior brood. Can you hold them off while I get the key? Fleshlings, we sting you a thousand, thousand times. You sting us? I don't think so. One, two, three. Charge! I'm gonna add some clutch charms too. Ah, just in time. Hmm, don't need that much. One siren. Thirteen K, that doesn't seem bad. Huh? <laughs> and I didn't crit on that. Uh, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't block that. That doesn't matter. I got a light.
man. Those pips are just terrible. Gosh, those pips are just not getting out of hand. Oh well, it will do. Oh, okay, heal. Oh, it's a good thing I got those clinch charms. Oh my gosh. Chances are just bad here. Very bad. Blame the pips. Finally! Thank you! That gold pip just saved my life! Or our life. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> Look at the brood mother! She's like doing a funny little dance. La 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 la! All right, let's see what happens next. Oh my God! She just slapped him. Oh! Quickly, get to Divum and see if you can help him. Brood mother! You! Divin, I'm coming! Ready, go. <laughs> the brood mother just slapped Divin. <laughs> that was awesome, but seriously, that hurts. <laughs> that makes me want to laugh. Divin! Oh my gosh, what happened to you? Spellbinder, take the code key. The brood mother stung me. I can feel the poison burning through my veins. Go. <clears throat> Through the honeycomb gate to the last wood. Find my kin. Please, do whatever you can to help them. For me. Anything. The royal guard are swarming. You need to battle through them quickly. Right. Oh, the brood mother will pay for this. I've been waiting to say this line all day. And I'm not gonna say it until until what? Oh, you'll find out. Oh. 
Finally, Pips! What sort of go on? You just gave me two. Here we go! That was easy. To the last wood. That was kind of. Well, that was short. Still gonna do some of the last wood. The cone key slots into place, and the honeycomb gate opens up for you, allowing you to slip through the honeycomb wall. You need to hurry out before more of the apiary warriors reach you. It's time to enter the last wood and search for Divim's kin. Well, here we are. This is the last wood. Greetings, wizard. We saw what occurred in the venomous half. Let me help you. Very I well. I know the path is hard, but you must have courage and faith <clears> and heart. <throat> we will do whatever we can to assist you. You are searching for the last of the burrows, yes? With luck, they can help you get closer to Morgath. Beyond this ravaged land lies the last wood of Christmas. I suspect the Borough Scouts patrol this region stealthily. Search for a deer mouse scout. When you see one, stay close, for they can move quickly. Hmm. They're not fast enough to find me, or for us to find him or her. Where are you? There, in the bramble. That looks like a deer mouse. Quickly, after him. Remember, Diego said to follow him closely. Follow him closely. Don't lose him his sight. Don't lose sight of him. Are you following me? I must away. You? Keep back, whoever you are. We don't want to hurt you. We're here to help. You'll only get hurt if you keep following me. Defeat a deer mouse scout. 
one. Eh, sounds simple enough. Oh. Play games? I'll find you. I'm oh, sorry, that was my mom asking me. Hey, am I hungry now? I'm gonna eat later. Take it anymore. I'm doing it. would speak to you. He waits for you. There. Why have you been chasing me? Jesus, we just wanted to help you. You were with Devim Whitecart. The commander of the foothold, Alwyn, will want to speak to you at once. Go inside and see him. Alwyn Woodward. Would you speak to me? Hail, Spellbinder. Paul Broken Sword said we should speak. Tell me of your deeds. You rescued Divim Whiteheart from his captors at Bastion and traveled with him unto the apiary. Where is he now? No, tell me it is not so. Divim was like a brother to me. This is a grave day for all burrowers. If you wish to help us, we will drive back some of the blue razors near the flower meadow. Then strike at the flame legs in the burn and extinguish their fire pits. They wield blazing torches to burn our beloved forest. Right. Okay then. After we just Ah, oh, sorry, I was disturbed. After we defeat the blue razors in the meadow, I'll see y'all later. Okay then, sorry about that, there was something wrong with Fraps. I think it has a malfunction. Don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's nothing. Commander Alwyn has told me about you, Spellbinder. What is your purpose? You stand against the Shadow Queen. Sure do. We will give you what knowledge and support we can to aid your quest, but I do not know how much hope is left. Our spies indicate the Shadow Queen recently returned from a great military campaign, and she seems more powerful than ever. 
Her forces have trebled their attacks, and we have been cut off from our allies in Queen Myrtle Town. The path between our villages has been flooded. Could you scout the route for us and see if you can divine a way through? Okay. Well, let's first check it out. This is where the path is blocked. The water has a corrupt, magical radiance. It makes sense to follow it to the source. We follow the, the water to its source. You see a pair of cursed lake elementals hovering at the shoreline, diverting the lake down the path. Spellbinder, do not strike us down. We are compelled to this action by the Shadow Queen's servant, a cruel Death's Head Sorcerer. I see. Then, we show aid you. Curse lake elementals! Even Nata herself is in thrall to the Shadow Queen! Spellbinder, can you discover where this death's head sorcerer hides and break his compulsion over the lake elementals? Yeah, sure. Turns out we have to help the, the lake elementals. So, I guess. All right, let's defeat the boss and help the elementals. Just past the lake elementals, you pick up a trail. It follows the edge of the lake. Here we go. <clears throat> Sure are you? I'll leash you just like I did those stupid lake elementals. Not a chance, you bozo. We charge into battle. Box. That shouldn't be hard.
Where are my faints? Pretty sure I added them. Give me a faint. Thank you. Now I have to find another faint. Here we go. Send it. I 
I released the curse that held the lake elementals in my thrall. Yay, he surrenders. Spellbinder, thank you for freeing us. We will leave the burrowers in peace. Excellent. Spellbinder, thank you for removing this great obstacle for us. We must re-establish communications post haste. I'm gonna end it soon. I'll try and be. I'll try and be quick. Can you take a message for me to the Air Force Commander, Tobias Splitsky? It's imperative that the message gets to him, and I cannot trust that my men will be intercepted by the Umbra Legion. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cross and then I'll end it. Oh. Yay. Bear a message from Elizar Fireblade. Yep. Who are you that we should trust this message? Sabra says she knows you. Is this true? Well, let's speak to her. This is the spellbinder who freed Florian and me from the apiary and who helped Jalen in Bumblertown. This spellbinder is good and powerful and could be a useful ally. I see. Hmm. It takes a great deal to convince Sabra, so that is high praise indeed. We know that Shadow Weavers and Yellow Jackets have been massing in Camp Havoc, just beyond our borders. They are going to retaliate for our attack on the Apaday village. The Spellbinder could infiltrate Camp Havoc to learn their plans. You can sneak into Havoc via our hidden portal that leads directly into their camp. They know nothing of it, so you will have surprise. It's a strong idea. Force the Night Flames to reveal their leader to you. He'll have the information we need. Taking to the camp, huh? So, that's it. Alright. That wraps it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It's always very nice, kind, respectful, and appreciative. Next time, we will be making our way through the last wood, through the camp, and other plan ahead. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. And I'm sorry about the error. Alright, I'm waking up.